Beach FM, locals talking to locals. Beach FM, great to welcome back the chair of the Pai Kakariki Community Board. Holly Ewins, a very good morning to you, Holly. And good morning to you, John. Nice to be here. I'd love to have a chat to you. We had Janet on, I think it was last week, and she suggested that there's been a bit of movement in terms of the way station, which I know is a matter of some interest and possibly controversy in your community. Can you tell us more? That's right. So uh, it was originally one of the sites that was the preferable site that was proposed was uh, originally on Emerald Glen Road, not long before you come to Farirua Farm. As I'm sure some listeners are aware, there's lots of recreational users mm. who use that uh, underpass in connection with Queen Elizabeth Park and Farirua Farm. And it's very busy with horses and cyclists and runners and all sorts. Uh, and they had concerns, not because they lived on Emerald Glen Road, but had genuine safety concerns for recreational users of the area because uh, living there, they know how busy it can be. Yes. Uh, and so and so they, uh, along with the community board, uh, gave their concerns to NZTA and NZTA have just come back with another proposed site which is still within the parks so it doesn't solve uh, any of the recreational users that I'm aware of Mm -hmm. at this stage so they are now mooting uh, it to be uh, what what is known as the sand pit? It's that quarry area before. If you were coming from Paikakariki to Queen Elizabeth Park towards Mackay's Crossing, yep. and it's on the left just before Queen Elizabeth Park, where they've been shifting lots of dirt around. Right. Um, and uh, that's where they are now mooting to have this um, CVSC, which just for listeners is much bigger than uh, what we know as a waste station. So it's 1.6 hectares. So. Um, it's it's quite a sizable uh, building itself with lights and all of that stuff and um, and a lot of of trucks coming through. Now nobody is disputing that having a CVSC is a bad thing um, for safety on our road for overloaded trucks and things like mm. that. That's not what is being um, uh, argued right now. It's about placement. And I did a walk around uh, with some residents on Saturday on the site, um, and I'm awaiting another briefing from NZTA shortly. But uh, from what I understand, all of those trucks are now going to be going right past the entrance to Queen Elizabeth Park uh, from a slip road, uh, and along with all the recreational park users and along with all of the Paikakariki traffic mm. who would like to get onto Transmission Gully because that's the only way that we can get onto Transmission Gully from here. So we have to wow. go through Mackay's Crossing and, yes. um, yeah, and through that very narrow underpass which is going to be shared with cycle users and horses and runners and walkers etc so I'm looking forward to seeking some clarity Mm. about that and to ensure that uh, it doesn't just push ahead um, without uh, the consultation of the community well that's very interesting and somewhat concerning because when the lights are flashing uh, it usually means that all of the trucks on the road have to be weighed and uh, that means a concentration of rather large vehicles being concentrated in a rather small area which already as you point out has got its its existing users so yes, and a lot of users too I yes, can't remember the exact figures off the top of my head but it's the amount of visitors to Queen Elizabeth Park and Farirau Farm is massive. I was mm. really surprised at how many people, when I saw the figures, um, and just how popular um, that spot is. And Queen Elizabeth Park is is absolutely a jewel in Carpley's crown, along with the island. Um, and it's one of our most prized um, recreational reserves. So uh, we'll be doing what we can to make sure that it's safe for other users, not just for truckies, but um, but for cyclists and, and for other road users as well. So if there are any listeners um, listening right now who are truckies, I'd be really interested to hear what you think about the proposed mm. um, new site because um, I'm not a truck driver and I'd be interested to know if you think that um, it's safe going around a very tight roundabout and yeah. through a very narrow underpass. So, um, yeah, get in touch if you're listening and you think mm, you've yes, got something indeed. to add. Mm. certainly seems rather awkward because they're very large vehicles by definition, some of those trucks, aren't they? Uh, particularly Absolutely. the semis. So it mm. uh, is something that um, we will have to keep an eye on and love you that you are and keeping 
us up to date here on Beach FM. Well, what's happening in the community? What's happening in the community? We've got um, we've got the second to last of our film festival this Sunday, so that's at five thirty. And the film showing uh, this week is a fantastic woman, uh, which is looks like a, a riveting uh, a riveting movie. So I would suggest you get along to that. They are just because of the level two restrictions, they um, aren't letting in quite as many people as they have um, earlier before we went to level two. So do get along a little bit earlier. Bring some cash and um, if they have refreshments available too. And then on the Friday 11th of September, uh, we have the Mason Brothers, which is 50 Years of Nature, which I'm sure Wayne wow. needs no introduction <laughs> here. But uh, this is Wayne and his brother. Um, his brother is on upright bass and wow. Wayne um, moving between guitar and keys. Yes. Um, it's only $20, so it's not expensive. That's Friday the 11th of September at St. Peter's Hall, 7.30. So I wow. would suggest um, those who are uh, big formula or uh, Wayne Mason lovers mm. to come along to that. I'm sure it will be great. What a treat. What yes. a treat. Fantastic. And then on Sunday, September the 13th, we um, just a reminder that the Pakekiki Surf Lifesaving Clubhouse are having an information day. That's from 3.30 till 5. That's about their uh, clubhouse relocation, which is retreating back into the park, uh, into Queen Elizabeth Park. Uh, and so you'll be able to see a uh, presentation and, and what they're proposing right now. So this is part of their consultation phase. <laughs> And in our stories this week, we've got a great story, which uh, our local community garden, uh, which is down the end of Tilly Road, mm -hmm. have started a new initiative. So as you know, bikes are increasingly seen, not just on Pikeakiki streets, but all around uh, the community. And this new eco initiative um, is a different kind of cycling. So it's called PyCycle, which is an inventive scheme where food scraps are delivered to the community garden via a uh, black e-bike wow. uh, so they've got funding for this black e-bike and they you get given a, a bucket a special bucket to put your compost in and then it's and once a week it's I think it's just once a week maybe it's twice a week it's picked up um, from your house and then it's delivered to the community garden and turned into amazing compost it's also great for keeping pests away so I've talked about rats before yes. <laughs> and how many rats that I don't think like think he's alone but with all our veggie gardens and composts and things it's quite hard to keep uh, pests down so it's really good for that uh, as well to keep it all in one place and to make sure it's well trapped but again you can read that story the full story um, on paikakariki.nz. Um, it's a really, really cool, great initiative. <laughs> mm. Oh, wonderful. That's the essence of Paikakariki, isn't it? So wonderful. Yes. And people do check out that amazing website. And uh, Holly is one of the people keeping that going. It's a great initiative. Well, great to catch up, Holly. Thank you very much. Let us know what's happening with the way station, won't you? Okay, I will. Thanks, John. 106.3 BGFM.